everybody and welcome. Today we are going to grow some pea shoots. This is one of my most favorite foods in the winter. We can't grow peas outside right now because everything's covered in snow, but we can grow these wonderful pea shoots inside and they taste just like fresh garden peas. So it's a great addition to any salad. It's really easy to do, so I'm going to show you how we do it here at the Living Farm. So the first thing we do is we uh, get a tray. This is a tray with holes in the bottom. This is a standard greenhouse tray. It's about two inches deep. And to that we're going to add some potting soil. And this has sand, perlite, and peat moss in it. I'm going to fill up the tray a oh, little over half. Okay, we smooth our soil out. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to add is some uh, pea seeds. You can use any kind of pea seeds that you want. Sometimes uh, there's pea seeds just for sprouting like this that are a little cheaper, but if you have a packet of old garden pea seeds, you can use that. Um, this is a spray can lid. It holds about three quarters of a cup. And I'm just going to take those and sprinkle the seeds right onto the soil. Like that. And we're going to cover them over with at least a half an inch of soil over the top. And you want to be sure that there's no fertilizer or compost in your soil because peas are nitrogen fixing and they create their own soil, their own fertilizer. And so you don't want to inhibit their growth by adding fertilizer. So just straight potting soil, no fertilizer. Okay, get that smoothed on and then we're going to water it on the floor down here. So as soon as you get it planted, you want to soak it down really good. Lots of water. Okay, now we're going to let that drip on the floor just a little bit. And then what you want to do with that is you want to take it and put it in a warm location. Um, if you have like a place in the house that's 60, 65 degrees, uh, that's perfect to get that to germinate. Now, if you have it in a warm place, in about a week, it's going to look like this tray here. Now, if you take a look at this tray, you can see that the soil is bulging because there's a whole bunch of peas coming up underneath. And if you look right here, you see the little peas. They're just, just starting to curl up and come up. You want to be sure you keep this moist. And once you start to see them starting to curl like that, then you need to put the tray someplace where it can get some light. And you got a couple of choices. Um, the best place would probably be on a light table, something with some fluorescent lights that can shine down on it. And you want the lights to run at least 12 hours a day. The other choice would be like a south window. Um, you can even put these, like, if you have a greenhouse that stays, oh, let's say above 35 at night. Um, I've actually taken them at this stage and frosted them lightly, clear down to about 30 degrees, and they grow. It's just a little bit slower. So once you find the perfect location for them, uh, make sure they stay moist, and then after, oh, let's say a week to 10 days, then they start to look like this where the pea shoots are coming up, they got the light, so they're turning green, and the next thing they'll do is the leaves will unfold, and that's this tray here. So once you get to about three weeks, then the peas are going to flush out, and they'll look like little pea plants that you have in the garden. And this is the stage that we eat them at. And so what I do is I take my scissors, and I'm just going to grab the plant, and I'm just going to shear these off above the soil. Now, if you are careful with this and you shear it to where there's still a leaf joint left, this will actually regrow and you can get a second cutting off of it or a third. So you do get a couple chances at these. So you want to just trim those off and um, you just eat them straight up. Mm. Oh my gosh. They are so delicious. They're sweet and crunchy and they, they taste like spring. So. This is super easy to do. I hope you guys will give it a try and this will become one of your favorite winter greens.